Impact Ministries has been working in the country of Guatemala for 15 years. We began opening schools in communities where there were no schools or very limited access to education. And we now have uh, 10 schools functioning with uh, 1,600 students in those schools. We've had the joy of entering into a nutrition program and we're serving 8,000 meals a week. And we have a medical program, a clinic with uh, doctors and dentists coming from North America. Out of that, churches have grown. We have three congregations now. And the ministry is just expanding uh, every year. When we visit our homes uh, in our schools, we see children suffering of, from malnutrition, abuse, sexual abuse. These kids are living in such dysfunctional situations. The enemy will do uh, many, many different things to try and thwart the development of these children into all that God wants them to be. So our goal is to introduce young men and women to Christ. And in that process, they discover the calling that He has for them, and the Lord begins speaking truth into their lives about how they can address the situations and the problems in their own country. We have regular ministry teams going into the hospital and um, almost always we encounter abandoned babies. The number of children that go to adoption and are successfully adopted is really limited. The whole view of adoption is very different. The whole idea of opening an orphanage emerged from the Guatemalan people. They were reading in the book of James, these brand new believers were reading from the book of James and they were saying, here it says that we're to care for widows and orphans. They're saying there's orphans everywhere and what, what, are, what is our role? The Guatemalan people haven't had to long-term plan. They haven't had to think five years in the future. They're thinking 24 hours in the future. How are we going to get food today? and how are we going to keep our kids healthy today? So long-term planning is what EMI brought to Impact Ministries. It, it was really neat watching the EMI team kind of synthesize all the thinking of the Guatemalan people and get that down into three phases and what was included in every phase. Something that's become really clear to me over the years is Ministry isn't buildings and ministry isn't programs. Ministry is relationships. Where are those relationships going to take place? They're going to take place in these buildings. They're going to take place in the context of these programs. And by EMI coming along and helping us with that piece, it enables our staff to do what they're doing well. I recall the last meeting that the EMI team had with our national board. It was honestly the most remarkable thing I've been involved in for a number of years. It, it, it was kind of like a birthing of this idea in, into something that was real. The PowerPoint was real. The desire in the room was real. There were no buildings in place yet. But it was being birthed and the EMI team was there together with our national team and us as founders of the ministry. It was just one of those remarkable moments where you say, this is God at work.